Welcome back. We now give you the details of the top stories on Randolph Janus. President Uden Sein accepted the credentials of newly accredited ambassador of Belgium to Myanmar, Mr. Mark Michelson, at the Presidential Palace in Nipito on 31st October. On separate occasion, the newly accredited ambassador from New Zealand to Myanmar, Mr. Anthony John Lynch, also presented his credentials to President Utensin at the same venue. Also present on the occasions were Union Minister for Foreign Affairs, Uwana Manglin, Union Minister at the President's Office, Ute Nyu, and Director General of Protocol Department, Uturin Panzin. In other news, President Utensin received Malaysian Minister for Plantation Industries and Commodities, Tan Siri Bernard Gilok Dompok, and party at the Presidential Palace in Nipito on 31st. October. Also present at the call were Union Ministers Uwana Manglin, Usotain, Umihlain, and Uemi, and Malaysian Ambassador to Myanmar, Dr. Ahmad Faisal Mohammed, and high ranking officials. They discussed on promoting bilateral trading and investment matters, as well as cooperation in palm oil, rubber, and forest produces production sectors. Meanwhile, the President's Office of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar issued a statement P-2012 on the 31st of October. The translation of the full text is as follows. Announcement on the conflicts in Rakhine State. The President's Office has already announced in its statement 1212 that according to the information received, the persons and organizations who are manipulating the conflicts in Rakhine State will be exposed and actions will be taken against them. The repeated conflicts during 21st to the, uh, 31st October left 89 people dead, 136 injured, 5,351 houses burnt down, and 32,231 people homeless. The conflicts between the two societies had changed from normal riots to armed conflicts, and even the security forces were threatened by arms. 180 locally made arms were seized from those incidents. Besides, those who made those arms and the evidences were seized and action is taken against them. In the mobs threatening riotous acts and arson, it was found out that one society has committed organized incident by making prior preparation, detailed planning, and attacking with locally made small arms at an appointed time in collaboration with political parties and the groups that have made peace with the government. Evidences also show that the other societies had also involved with some organizations from home and abroad. In addressing the conflicts, the two sides need to choose mutually beneficial means and to solve the problems wisely, peacefully, with far-sightedness in line with law. Not to hamper the national prestige amidst the world's nations because of such incidents, the people from all walks of life who love and cherish the country are urged to cooperate in peaceful ways. It is announced that the government is investigating and taking actions against the persons and organizations who are manipulating the incidents and those who had engaged in the conflicts to prevent reoccurrence of the incidents that affect the lives and properties of the people. More news still to come. Please stay tuned.